Hello everybody, this is Wizworld 100. You're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. Welcome to another Sunday showcase. And I thought today we'd do a little bit of post Valentine's for our Sunday showcase. And this is the game that we're going to be playing because nobody voted, because the poll is very lonely, it is going to be a game that I recently reviewed on Valentine's Day. Electric Super Joy. Not because I'm picking on it, but because Let's show it some love. So let's get on with it. Or the love making. So, this is Electric Super Joy. Joy, we're gonna be playing it on the controller because the keyboard is not very good. From my experience. Warning! May cause, may cause seizures, also motion sickness, tons of crude language, pixelated violence and murder, sexual content, blasphemy. So, I'm gonna be attempting to just play just the first world, which is um, actually the, the most inviting part of this game. After that, it starts being cruel. You lost an arm. In the Disco Wars of 1515, you lost an eye. In the War of Rock and Roll, you've lost, you lost both legs. Defeating DJ Deadly Skills. And you lost your entire butt to an evil wizard. This is the story of your quest. To get revenge for your butt. Oh yeah, I set the timer on. This is an action platformer with really, really awesome music. Every time you touch a checkpoint, you check their points. And you hear the sounds of people moaning. So like I said, it's an action f uh, platformer where you go through the level making it from point A to point B and trying not to die and perhaps speedrun it. Of course, I've already speedrun most of these. The entirety of the first world are at least under the gold time. Dude, nice day. But the trees are growing. Everything is nice. Oh, oh yeah, here it comes. Join us. Dance. Groovy. Sometimes the music kind of sounds like something from Payday 2, which is also kind of cool. Remember, B to Smash. Have you played the new Smash Brothers? I don't know. We'll have to find out. He's been smashed. Alright, we made someone today. Yes. So there's a smash button that you can do that's uh, meant for killing enemies. But sometimes, I wish there was a little bit of um, explosion radius. But basically, it was a very pixel perfect kind of thing. And it doesn't, and it doesn't get even, any more crueler until much, much later in the game. Portals. Oh, frogs. Oh. That's one of the few things with the platforming that typically gets me killed. I would say it's because I wasn't paying attention, but I'd like to think my platforming skills are of the most lovable kind. Otherwise, I would not have beaten this game before making my final opinion on it. Press Y to quickly spawn. I accidentally pressed, pressed the other button that made me restart the entire level, because I love love the pain. No, I've actually had a few times where I accidentally did that. Although it does reset the clock, so I'm gonna make myself look a little better with my time. I'm gonna try and speedrun this so that we can I can show off the entirety of the first world and where we fight the boss. I didn't I didn't spoil the entire game in the video, although you should have pr pretty much guessed what the end result of that is. You get rear revenge for your butt. It's an achievement in the game. I didn't know you could actually avoid that arrow, now that I think about it. There are a lot of things you can actually avoid in the game. Just speedrun. You can also speedrun faster by dropping faster with the smash button. The risk of that is, you might actually die and lose more time. But hey, if you got accuracy, then power to you. Trying to focus right here, jumping on the arrows. They stab so hard, you go out and you fly off. These walls are sticky. Gross! Actually, it is kind of fun climbing those walls, because you can just instantly just jump up the ramp onto them. There is a difficult part right here where you gotta get the stars, which unlocks more levels. Ooh, that was terrible. But I've gotta jump onto this. This level is a little obnoxious, if I had to say anything. It is kind of hard to see. Not my favorite kind, but nothing entirely wrong with it. It's not the worst one, at least uh, compared to Shadow Dancer Shinobi, which uh, had a pretty annoying light and dark level. At least this one, you get to see everything. Also, if you haven't seen my review on, on Electric Super Joy, you should check it out. This is the right path, but there is one other path that leads to a star, which I've collected all of them. It was a pain, but I did it. Oh, no. 
Sometimes I wonder, is there a metaphor? Is there some sort of metaphor in this? Oh, you got keys to open doors. I wouldn't say this is a party in my butt, because I don't have because I don't have a butt in this game, and I don't overly praise games. Oh yeah, we gotta wait for the arrows here. Urgh. Some of you might like the challenge, and some of you might like the pain. Personally, I'd like a good game. And is Electric Super Joy a good game? Well, check the Valentine review and find out. Oh no, we got the slippery parts. That was pretty dumb. I, I, my fingers slipped. At least the levels are short, despite the levels being sometimes unfair and perhaps difficult. At least they're short and they don't waste your time. Oh no, missiles! You can smash missiles with B. Jump and smash. Down smash. Bye. Ugh, this level. Actually, I don't really like this level. This level's kind of weird. Hey, there's a Sunny D. Don't go down there, man. I'm still not sure what he's referring to. Was I supposed to smash down? Or would, when he says, don't go down there, man, he means, don't go down there yet, or else I'll die. Later on in the game, it rotates. One of the level rotates by 90 degrees. This rotation is not as bad, because at least it's still workable, and I don't have to twist my neck. Oh, that is a load of, that is a load of crap. But yes, if you haven't noticed, uh, the game graphics are rather simple, but simple is okay. Doesn't have to be super amazing, as long as I can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing. And also what I'd like to do is to reset the checkpoint so that the missiles disappear. Oh, that was unintentionally faster. Oh, here's where you abuse, not abuse, but use the smash to fall down faster. <sighs> Assuming you don't die. Would be kind of nice if the time reset to like the previous time before you died on a checkpoint so you don't have to restart the entirety of it. See, the time just got added to it anyways. Ooh, yeah, got it. And then there's this prick standing here. Don't waste time. Stop floating around. Stop most of the missile. No, we're just gonna keep running. Running far away. Ooh, yeah, that was fun. That was also super fast. There's a, there was a star over there, if I'm not mistaken. This part you're supposed to... If you can avoid destroying any of the missiles, you'll actually get a, a little achievement for it. Just something to do in the meantime. Oh, I, I, I couldn't do it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I survived all that. Run, kid, run! I wish you were able to run, but you can't run. And it's really, 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 really annoying. But I'm gonna do my best. Oh, that sucked. Sucks, you slip off platforms, which is uh, more unintentional, if anything. Reset missiles. Oh. I forgot about that. It only, it only took me four hours to beat the entirety of the game, minusing the whole recording footage for it. So it was actually less than that. I'd say about three hours. So this game, if you're good, doesn't take that long. Oh, here's where the Pope is. The Pope has gone insane. Orbit mind control. Anyway, he wants to kill you. Guess you'll gonna murder him. Oh well. Son of a bitch. Howdy! I'm the Pope, and I, I see you've been farting on the star, and I'm gonna fuck you up. Pope-tastical. Now pay attention as I get into my spaceship, and you just keep ground smashing that star. Uh. Actually, I'm... Actually, I forget, does it actually restart the entire time if you press the checkpoint button from the beginning? Like, if you did not reach any checkpoints, I did not check that. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what do you know, it does. My bad. This level's not very difficult. This is not one of the difficult levels, it's just being impatient. That was, that was, that was the game's fault that time. And that was what I was referring to for the pixel, for the uh, hit detection being a little too spot on. When the take detection is too spot on, things you expect it to do won't actually do. Stupid Pope, stop that. Actually, for me, it's always the vertical levels that are... that are tricky. Mainly because I'm impatient, so I can't fault the game for being, uh, getting me killed all that time. Though the later ones do get really, really sadistic. Oh, that was stupid. Come on. That was so dumb. 
And like I said, this is just, this isn't even the hard part of the game. But yeah, I tend to slip off of uh, some of these platforms, so that's kind of the thing that is really annoying. No! Oh, fuck you, controller. Fuck you, controller. Fuck you so hard in bed. Would you fuck me? I fuck me. But fuck me hard. What was it from again? Silence of the Lamb? Yes, I think that was it. Are there no checkpoints in this level? Oh yes, another thing is this game tends to have at least good checkpoints. We built a spaceship. Jump in. Alright. One of the few times the game does something really, really drastically different and it's kind of cool. I'm gonna cross you out. Thankfully, these, these little shoot -em up sections are not that difficult. And sometimes, like, for some reason, the, the hit detection here is much, much more lenient. Yikes. And he's still not down. Out of gas? Oh well. Oh, here we go. This this part is can be a pain if you don't destroy the missiles. Which uh, I tried to not destroy any of his missiles while I attack. <sighs> also, these spawns are mostly random. But I think you can sort of affect where they're going. You know, we do blast missiles at the Pope. Gotta watch out for his lasers. Oh, if, see, this is one of those moments where if only the kid can run. I'm gonna call him the kid like from I Wanna Be The Guy. In fact, this might actually, uh, think about it, he kind of does remind me of the kid. That always bogged the shit out of me. I don't know why. Hmm, he's not being blocked off by that little edge, so I don't know what keeps getting me killed over there. Or how I keep getting hit by the laser, and it doesn't look like I should be. Oh, yes, and his attacks are random, so at least the boss is random. <laughs> I did not hate this boss fight the first time I fought him. I thought it was the most trippiest cool thing ever. Oh. Not ever, but it was definitely very, very cool. Hmm, I'm doing a relatively good job. I wonder will I live? Oh my... That is so unfair. I don't know what happened, but I was doing so good. It would have been an epic highlight, but no, did you give it to me? No. No, and do you just decide to spawn the missiles right next to where I am? No. Do you decide to use an attack that I can actually avoid? No. <laughs> I'm, not blaming, I'm not blaming the game for this, because you're allowed to destroy the missiles, but for challenge, I decided not to. And it's only when you do these little challenges you find out the... It's when you do these challenges you find out whether the game has some really good points about it, or you find out the really bad points about it. But like, for instance, when I did a Battletoads No Death Run, I found out even more terrible things about it. But otherwise, if you play this normally, this is completely okay. Come on, Pope, stop it. Stop lasers. Oh, So ass. In fact, I actually think the best parts are the, just the first world, like every other world after this is just kind of frustrating. And unlike a uh, total, total biscuit, unlike certain other people, I did have the patience to beat this before I fully judged it. So at the very least, I did not judge it on the first, on just purely just the first uh, world. Because if I did that, I would have actually praised the game because it's actually really, really good. Oh, very, very enjoyable, I should say. Just because a game's not really, really good doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Special shout out to Cassie Chu for giving this game to me to play, along with the DLC, which uh, I unfortunately actually did not play, so she did not have to give me that. But I accept it, and I thank you for that. Oh, that's that wasn't very fair. All right. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, that was not fair. There's no way to tell where those missiles are coming from, if they're from, like, the vertical... Yes, the vertical... If they're coming at you vertically, you can't tell where they're going to hit you from. That hit detection was a little questionable. You can, you can argue whether that was, a, that was a fair hit or not. That was me not paying attention while I try to commentate and try to make this interesting. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Please do that. Oh, I could have avoided that, but I decided to jump. Can't blame that on the game. Trust me, if you've seen me playing the later levels, I would be just screaming all night long. In which, uh, well, not all night long, since it only took me a few to beat it. Oh. It's also really annoying when the missiles can go through the level. Because it'd be kind of cool if you can lure them into the walls and such. But aside from that, you are shooting the Pope with rainbow missiles. Which 
uh, have a tendency to miss. Yes, keep doing the laser. Keep doing the laser. I wish you could shoot your own miss or your own missiles at him, but apparently that's not the case. Look at him, they're circling around him. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, did I do it? Oh my goodness, I went through that entire fight without hitting a single missile. You ruined everything. Yeah, yeah, kiss, kiss my butt. My non-existent butt. You killed the Pope. Congratulations. He died on his head. Died on being the next Pope. Damn, I wanted that. Anyways, good job. So does this mean this kid can't get his ass kicked because he has no ass? Well, let's end it right there. So, that was Electric Superjoy on the PC slash Steam. It looked very promising in the beginning, and it was very promising. But as the levels go on in the later worlds, it just gets much more frustrating and to the point of being unfair. But hey, if you're looking for a sadistic challenge, then I'd tell you to go check it out and show it some love. So, with that said, hope you guys vote on the Sunday Showcase poll next time. This is WizWar100, you're the viewer that aren't the showcaser, and... Happy post Valentine's. This episode was brought to you by Cassie Chu. Thanks for the game.